Hi, my name is Blake McGowan and I'm a certified professional ergonomist with the Human Tech brand of Velocity EHS. It's always good to remind ourselves what the primary purpose of ergonomics is. It's to improve employee health as well as optimize human performance through the proper design of the workplace. Research continues to show that increasing or improving indoor air quality as well as increasing ventilation rates has a positive impact on employee health. And that makes sense. However, how often do you consider what the impact of indoor air quality and ventilation rates are on worker performance? Not often. Well, in 2017, Joe Allen and his colleagues from Harvard University conducted a series of studies to address that question. They exposed workers to different levels of indoor air quality and ventilation rates and measured their worker performance based off cognitive tasks. So they exposed office workers to three different variables. Standard and double the amount of acceptable ventilation rates, normal and high levels of volatile uh, organic compounds or VOCs, low typical and high levels of carbon dioxide. So what did they find? Well, they found that by improving the indoor air quality, by increasing the ventilation rate, it significantly improved worker performance and it also had a significant financial benefit. The cost of doubling uh, the ventilation rate is about $40 per person per year. However, the benefit in worker productivity is in the amount of $6,500 per person per year. So what does this mean? What's the bottom line? The bottom line is, is improving indoor air quality by increasing the ventilation rates improves worker performance as well as it makes financial sense. So for more information on the Human Tech brand of Velocity HS and the Bottom Line series, please feel free to visit our website at humantech.com. Thanks and have a great day.